Pro Wrestling. I really wanted to jump back into this, mostly because they just um, rolled out their first big update, which is the Fire Promoter Mode. Similar to like a My GM mode where you manage, sign, and run um, wrestlers during a promotion. It's really cool, um, especially with all the stuff going on with WWE and All Elite Wrestling and New Japan. And so I thought it was a perfect time to jump into this. Uh, it's a really cool mode. You start off with 8, 12, or 16 promotions. I chose to run with 8 simply because I didn't want to have to download that many wrestlers to fill up the other promotions. It'll randomly generate wrestlers for you if needed, but I feel like that breaks the immersion. So I decided to just download everybody who I felt like was really killing it on the indie scene and who um, New Japan all Elite Wrestling signees to really build a full world in this. Um, I'm, I chose All Elite Wrestling, obviously, and unfortunately, they start you from the bottom. So, whereas my WWE promotions, which I all separated, like I made um, 205 Live its own promotion, I made Raw its own promotion, I made SmackDown its own promotion, etc., etc. Whereas your promotion starts off on the very bottom, so you only have six cornerstone wrestlers that you got to build your franchise around and then upgrade your gyms and performance centers and things like that to then gather more talent. You can also scout more talent that doesn't appear in the free agent pool you know, at the beginning, which is really cool. So it's almost like you'll discover new wrestlers as you continue throughout your career. It's really neat. Um, but my cornerstone wrestlers are as follows. Kenny Omega. Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, Cody Rhodes, Chris Jericho, and I believe Adam Page. I could be wrong, but let's see what happens. Congrats on establishing your own promotion. All right, let's make the match happen. That's that. That's it. Actually, your new promotion. Sorry about that. We got what it takes to pull ahead of the pack. The world is ours for the taking. First, we have to take this group of nobodies and turn them into somebodies. Well, let's be honest. I wouldn't call Kenny Omega a nobody, but, you know, I, I get what you're doing. I get what you're doing, Fire Pro. You saw something special when you signed them. Time to develop that potential. We're all counting on you, boss. Take us to the top. So, um, it's really neat. You can actually invite wrestlers from other promotions to yours. However, if you're not on good terms with that promotion, there's a high fee and all this other stuff. So, it's better to just invite free agents until you built up enough capital to start signing some big names or even some names, period. Uh, my job is to book events and boost the popularity. Um, for the sake of the video, I'll probably be skipping and simming a lot of the matches right on through um, but I've decided um, we will watch some of the matches so I'm thinking like every fourth card I'll probably um, show the entire match um, think of it maybe like a pay-per-view kind of thing I tried to go through and check the balancing of all the wrestlers I downloaded so nobody should be you know just destroying everyone but I mean maybe a couple slipped through the cracks but I don't believe so because I tried to make sure everybody's points were balanced and you know had correct logic by logic and fire pro wrestling I mean um, they have a really cool system where wrestlers are more likely to do certain things you know I mean like so Kenny Omega for example um, his logic in the game he won't come out and hit you with a one-winged angel out the gates he won't do it um, he'll wait mid to late match things like that like um, Whereas other people, I've I've played with some really terrible, terribly created characters, and they will just come out of the gates and just try to finish your spam you nonstop. It's it's a little bizarre, but with that said, um, it should make some for some good matches. I'll probably sim the first one just because I don't really have that many superstars, but we'll see, we'll see where where it goes. So let's see, who are we gonna invite first? Uh, who are we? Let's who? Who's cheap? Come on, Jimmy. Cool, Jimmy will show up. Um, uh, can I invite Marty? Come on, Marty. Nope, Marty's not interested in working with us. All right, Marty. The Shade. What about Penta? Penta's interested. All right. Um, boy, I'm asking for trouble inviting Alberto. I am asking for trouble. Uh,. Is he Kenta? Nope. So basically, I'm just going to start spamming anybody with, like, a low, like, price just to get some names in our, um, uh, promotion. So 
Scorpio? Man, we hurting. We are hurting. Oh, everybody else is expensive, so I think who we have is who we have right now. All right, so let's start booking this event. Normal match, yeah. The cool part is though, like the more you book in a certain area, the higher your turnout will be and you can basically almost become like a staple in that area, which is kind of what we're gonna aim to do. And then build from there. So we're gonna build our core fan base and you know, and es essentially just dominate that one area. We're gonna probably be performing at gyms for a minute though, because we're not ever, we're not gonna be filling no five thousand seats. Just I don't see it happening. So let's let's start with a, our first one, a title match, just to see you know who's gonna be our you know who's gonna have the brass ring out of the gates. Uh, we'll go Kenny. Ooh, what? Uh, we'll go. We'll go. We'll go that one. Yeah. Kenny versus Jericho for the title right out of the gates. Yeah, yeah, we'll go Kenny versus Jericho. Just to just to get a little bit there. Um, I would ordinarily do a tag match with the Bucks, but uh, I don't have enough people, so we're just gonna do Matt versus uh Matt versus Pac, yeah. I don't even know if I have enough people to fill this up. Let me see. We'll do Nick versus versus one of the free agents, maybe. Actually, that with all the stuff that's been going on, that's actually a really good one there. We'll make this a hardcore to appeal to Penta Pentas. Um, types. I believe that for some reason they'll randomly generate their preferred match style and I think Penta prefers hardcore matches. Not quite sure why, but that's just the way it is, I guess. Because you always want to make the free agent feel special. Oh, actually, you know what? Jimmy is hardcore, so we're actually going to swap Jimmy and Penta. And then we'll have Nick go against... Unfortunately, Nick, you're going against your boy. I'm sorry to do that to you. I'm sorry. I mean, you're outweighed and everything, but we, we need we need to do it for the, do it for the view. Uh, well, I didn't have enough to fill up five matches, so this is going to be a small, small show. So I'm going to move all these up. Yikes. Boy, that's, that's a small, small card. Ooh, we. Um, let me see. Configure match style, because we got to change this one back, and we got to make the other one a hardcore. All right. So, um, now, the only crazy part and the difficult part about this is it's unpredictable so wrestlers can cancel on you they can just decide hey I'm not gonna show um, I'm sick or I have a family emergency or I, do, I just don't want to participate and that can really set you back especially if you're like me who already has a small card for example if Jimmy cancels I'm pretty much boned for this month like that's it so it can get really bad really fast um, you can save scum, but I'm going to not do that for the sake of this video. By save scum, I mean you could just save and keep reloads. Uh, but I'm going to try to not do that. But, I mean, they're going to cancel. I mean, it just happens. I had one time where like three different wrestlers canceled on me. And it was just horrible. It was terrible in every way. Uh oh, did I not get a cancel? I may not have gotten a cancel this time. We're going to see. We are going to see. Hopefully everybody's here. Let's see. Yep, everybody's here. All right. So are we gonna watch Kenny and Nick? No, no, they're just friends. I mean, there's nothing on the line right there. This is just a uh, a friendly a friendly thing. 
it was just a friendly match, so we're not gonna we're not gonna really watch that. Nick beat him though with a roll up. That's that's actually kind of funny. Not even a super kick party. Uh, let's see. Do we want to watch Penta and Jimmy? You know, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's watch Penta and Jimmy. I think we just hit next match. That's gonna be fun to watch. I mean, I put it as a hardcore. So are we gonna see weapons? Is it gonna get crazy? I don't even know what a hardcore match entails anymore. Fire Pro entrances are always so funny. <laughs> what do you guys have? You guys going Panther or Jimmy? I really love to see this mode though because uh, it's a pseudo like. It's a GM mode, but it also has like a monopoly aspect to it because you want to monopolize all the talent, basically just, you know, own the industry. And I'm always a sucker for GM modes. Um, for example, when I play NBA 2K, I sim like 60 games in the season. I just like doing the trades and the free agent signing and, you know, trying to get the best draft pick. Uh, it's really big. I love management simulators, you know, those tycoons and all that. Heavy stuff out of the gate. This game really could have done with some um, commentary, but I understand it. Like it's so technical, and this is almost like a a hardcore fighter here. Like I know people who take this extremely seriously. Like tournaments for money, seriously. hope at some point they uh, do an update where you can do the fire promoter multiplayer because I would love to, you know, just have like a big group of like four of us and just run, up, run promotions together against each other, you know, bidding wars. That would be, uh, I'm pretty sure the PC version will probably have some kind of mod. For What I really like about simming matches on here too is you can sim to like the middle of the match. Uh, and sim like a few, ooh, sim like a few minutes into it. That way you can just kind of start seeing like when things really get going. That pen is insanely accurate though. Set this would be for Jimmy though if he can snag a win over Penta. Five minutes gone. Oh, at least they have the five minutes gone. to like start putting the chance and like the fight forever chance. Oh, now I guess we're getting to the hardcore stuff. Wow, that was ever since that fork to the head, Jimmy's kinda of taking off.
So I probably won't be sending too much though, because I can see that this 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 will get a little a little awkward. But it's still neat to see how these wrestlers perform with their balancing. But even though it looks like Jimmy, Jimmy is just taking off. I just wanted to kind of sim a couple of matches because I thought these would have been these would be interesting and they are they are for me but I mean what do I how, how do I I guess I can try and commentate on it but you know I can try and be like Morrow but no nah, I'm not that good I'm not that good I know like Penta is leaking under the mask though. They still have rope breaks on the hardcore match. Sure is. I think he was going for a sling blade there, but missed it. Ten minutes gone. Ooh, nice power bomb. One, two. That was that power bomb was intense. Oh no. Oh, that's it. That is it. The fear factor. Oh, he didn't get the pin. He didn't get the pin. He's gonna go for another one. Him with the fear factor. Give me my tub room for that. Is he gonna tap? Is he gonna tap? Man, that was. He was too tired to pin. see that coming <laughs> did not see an ankle lock <laughs> winning the match all right so I'm only gonna send one more oh wait ah uh, I do want to watch this one all right so we're gonna watch those next two and then I'll probably wrap up the first video on it but what do you guys think so far like it's cool because you produce merchandise you know for your wrestlers you uh, upgrade your training center just all the stuff you can probably do as a general manager this music is Kenny Omega's and I don't like that probably have to go through it <laughs> I do like that.
out of the gates countered, countered the hurricane run into a power bomb. Two. Oh, super kick out of the gates. Yeah, that's that's the bucks. That is the bucks. I think he has two super kicks. One is his finisher and one is a um, just a signature move. Shooter. All right, I right. this is this is pretty dumb. Like I can I can get behind this one. I feel like there's a lot more going on here than the last match. Flying battle with Neville or Pop, I should say. An arrow. Mm. Ooh. I don't know if that was a counter. What that was at first? It looked like it. One, two, two. Five minutes gone. Just two super kicks, just back to back. Super kick party. <laughs> that literally was a super kick party. Wow. That was. <laughs> now we get the match that counts, though. For the brass ring. For the
Out machine.
That was a power bomb. Kick it into the German. One. I mean, that is how fast that code breaker comes in. That's it. What? A 13 minutes match code breaker? That's you can't escape! <laughs> wow, he hit him with him. You can't escape. Again. You can't escape! Oh, dodge that. That V trigger would have been nasty. One, is he gonna do two, the yep. three, four. All right, now this five, is the game. This is the best bout machine. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four. This is good as the real thing. Wow. I mean, not as good as the real thing, but this is a pretty good representation of a fire play. Can he super kicked out of that? Wow. Snapdragon. I think he was going for a V trigger there, but didn't time it right. You can't escape! Oh. You can't escape! Jericho. our first I guess card I'll be probably be simming everything else from now on but man that was that was nice that was nice New champion crown so now he'll be carrying our promotion that was a hundred percent match rating by the way hundred percent so all in all that was a pretty successful first card Kenny of all elite won the heavyweight title yep our first champion Yeah, we're not going to sell out at the beginning, but I mean, we still did pretty well. We still did pretty well. We made our money back, plus. 
Because you don't you don't start operating into the in the black, I guess, or out of the red at least for six months. Dolphin away is there, the tag team champions. Hmm. Mustafa Ali won the junior heavyweight. All right. Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole are tag teams for NXT. Yep. Danny and Oni. Okay. Nick Aldis and Rocky Romero. So it's kind of cool here. They'll say like you have tag matches or you know tournaments with other promotions. That really doesn't affect you until I'll say your second year because you're not popular enough to send wrestlers to other promotions yet. So that really doesn't affect me. But when I get more popular, yeah, I'll be able to send people, and I have a bigger roster, I'll be able to send wrestlers to participate at SmackDown or at other promotions to gain popularity for mine as well as increase their popularity. You could send them overseas to train, lots of options. But like I said, this is just our, the first episode of it. I'm going to try and have a really solid run. Um, I might play a little bit more to sim through it. That way I can get to some of the fun stuff to show you guys. Um, but we'll see. There are other sources of revenue. Yep, t-shirts. Yeah. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in with me and kind of hanging out. Uh, like I said, it's a management simulator, but I love these. I know they're boring to watch, but they are so fun to play. Anyway, thank you so much. This has been Ricky playing Fire Pro Wrestling's Fire Promoter. Thank you so much.